to a new video. So this is going to be a 48 hour readathon vlog and I'm so excited because I haven't done a 48 hour readathon in a while. I haven't done a vlog for it in a while and I want to start 2023 off with a really really good kind of dent into my Goodreads goal. I'm hoping to read 100 books again this year so I really want to start January off strong and I'm also just in a reading mood and want to read like a lot so I have thrown together a little bit of a TBR but we'll see. So I am doing this readathon as part of my monthly readathon I do with my patrons every single month so if you are interested in joining us in next month you can head to the link in the description box but I'm doing it with them and I'm also doing it with my friends. So we have Lily from Lily C Reads, we have Aria from Aria Reads, we have Kat from Bambina Katarina, we have Emily from Three Bears Book Cottage and we also have Kay from Madame Spooky. So I'll have all their channels linked down below and if any of them do vlog this as well I will also link their videos down below so yes i'm doing this with my friends which is super fun because we haven't all done a readathon together for so long because of time zones and work commitments and everything else so it's so nice to be able to do this with them and i'm really really excited so they've already started the readathon around 12 i think it's currently i think almost 2 p.m but i think i'm going to start the readathon officially at either 3 or 4 p.m because I want to like really really spend most of it reading so I was debating doing the timer method but I think that would just take far too long so I am just going to do it in a 48 hour period but I won't actually be reading for a full 48 hours if that makes sense because I do plan to sleep but yes anyways I do have a very big stack of books here now this looks very ambitious and it is but I don't think I will read every single one of these and I may end up picking up other books instead. I'm definitely going to mood read throughout this readathon because I want to read as much as I can. So my audiobook of the readathon is going to be in Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. So I started reading this book last year and I think I got like 70-ish pages into it and I just wasn't 100% vibing with it. I do not like Lee Bardugo's writing when it comes to YA. I just don't enjoy it at all. I don't like Shadow and Bone or Six of Crows. It's not for me. But I do want to give the Ninth House a go because so many people love this. And I do love Dark Academia. And like this sounded like my cup of tea. So I couldn't really quite get into the writing style physically reading it. And I just softy and effed it. But I for some reason decided to buy a ticket to go to Elite Bodygo event happening near me this month. And yeah, like I feel bad if I went and you know I hate Shadow and Bone. Like so you know so i want to read ninth house and if i really like this then i'm going to go to the event i'm going to get her to sign in this book and the event is for hellbent the next book in this series which has just been dispatched so that should arrive any day now but if i don't end up liking this then i will just give my ticket to somebody so they can go but i'm hoping that i will enjoy this so i'm going to listen to it on audio because i think maybe a different format will be more enjoyable for me so i'm hoping that i really enjoy the audiobook it is quite a long audiobook and i just realized this is actually already signed but i'll get it personalized if i go um but yeah i hope i enjoy the audiobook so ninth house is basically set at this kind of campus as like secret societies and our main character can kind of see like spirits i think or something and it has like forbidden magic as well so i'm really, really excited i hope the audiobook is good so I will be listening to the audiobook throughout this readathon and hopefully finishing it as well. So next I have these two. So I don't know if this is staying as a duology or there's going to be another book, but I recently picked these up after seeing someone talk about them on Instagram. So this one is A Kingdom of Stars and Shadows by Holly Renee. And these covers are so beautiful. This is the second book, which is A Kingdom of Blood and Betrayal. So they're both quite short as well, which is why I want to read them during this readathon. And all I know about this is it's fantasy romance. I think our main character is like betrothed to the prince but it's like his right hand man she's like interested in and i think this has betrayal on it like kingdoms and i think it's enemies to lovers or something like that i don't know but it is fantasy romance and these are both quite short so this one's 272 pages and this one is 253 so i feel like these are really good choices for a readathon and i'm hoping that i do make it through both of these so I thought I'd put them on my TBR. And this one is one, I don't know if you're sure if I'll pick back up again. Um, so this is These Holy Vows by Lexi Ryan. And what I mean by that is like during this readathon. I have been reading this since November. I'm 156 pages in and I was enjoying it. I just wasn't in the mood for it anymore. But if I do feel like it, then I might just pick this up and try to finish this during the readathon. But honestly, I'm just not sure. We'll see. Um, this one is basically like Akhtar meets the Cruel Prince. It has a love triangle and it has like fey in it and stuff, like fairies and all that. And yeah, I was enjoying it so far, but I don't know. Maybe I will pick this one up. 
And then I have some graphic novels and a manga. So I always like to include these in my readathons because they're just nice breaks from books and also just really fun to squeeze in. So I have this one, which is Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, Mirror Moon. In this one, we follow Sally and I love anything to do with Sally and learning more about her story. So the art in here as well is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm very, very excited to read this one. Then next we have this one, which is Donuts and Doom. And this is the author's name here. I'm not gonna try and pronounce that because I know I will mispronounce it and I don't want to do that. And right now I don't have time to look it up and I don't know where my phone is, but this is the author here. Um, so it's Donuts and Doom and this one has a really cool style as well. It's like a blue pale theme and it says in the back, being an amateur witch or rock star is tougher than it looks and it doesn't help to run into an impossibly rude girl at the donut shop. So yeah, this is a sapphic graphic novel look how cute this is i'm so excited it's sweet and sapphic in every way donuts and doom is everything my gay witchy baked good loving heart could ever want so yeah this sounds so good and i'm so excited to read this i've never heard anyone talk about it before and i just think it will be a lot of fun so i hopefully will get to this one and then the last one i have is a manga and this is junji ito's a cat diary um yon and mule and this is the collector's edition so i recently bought this and I'm so excited because this is basically um, kind of tales of Junji Ito's own experience being a cat owner. And I think somewhere in here actually does have pictures of his own cats, which I thought was really, really cute. So yeah, like there's like photos of his like actual cats in here and just different little tales to do with cats. I just thought this would be so fun. I love anything to do with cats and I really enjoy Junji Ito's works. So I'm excited to read this one and hopefully it's quite funny as well. And I love this cover, it's just hilarious. Um, so yeah, that is like my TBR and if none of these books are like the right one for me like in my mood or i just really am craving romance then i will read tessa bailey's secretly yours um so this is an arc i was very very luckily sent and basically in this it's kind of like not necessarily second chance romance but i believe they do know each other from when they were younger and he's always secretly had a crush on her she's always secretly had a crush on him but neither of them ever knew that she meets him years later she's a gardener at his parents estate now and he's there trying to work on a novel and she's just distracting him in every turn and he's very very grumpy now and everything he's a professor and i believe they have like a romance so yes i might pick this up if i'm in the mood for romance but that is my entire tbr as it stands i am also currently reading Zodiac Academy at book five and Alone With You in the Ether by Olivia Blake, but I have put both of them on pause while I'm doing this readathon. However, I could gravitate towards them again. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yes, as it stands right now, those are my reading plans. I am going to quickly pop into town because my Warstones exclusive edition of The Stolen Air has arrived in store and I really want to go and pick it up. And I may also pick up a copy of Prince Harry's book. I'm going to go down there and then I think I'm going to grab some lunch and maybe like a coffee. I might read that. I'm not too sure. If I do, whenever I start reading is when I'll obviously say I've started the readathon and I'll let you guys know. If not, I'll come straight home and I'll start the readathon from home. But I will maybe include some B-roll while I go and pick those up. But yeah, I'm just gonna go and do that and then I'll start the readathon. I'm really, really excited. So yeah, so welcome to another readathon that's hopefully gonna be successful.
it's a lot later since I filmed my intro to this vlog. So it's 20 past 5 in the evening and I haven't done a single bit of reading yet. I haven't even listened to my audiobook yet but I'm gonna start the readathon officially at 6pm so I am fully like sorted. I ended up having to go and do a little food shop and things like that as well and then I had dinner so yes I'm all like ready to read. I have my comfies on and a cup of tea and yes. <laughs> So I think I'm going to be going on some reading sprints over on Cat's Patreon in like half an hour. I think I'm going to pop on with her. So that would be like a good way to start the readathon. But I thought we'd unbox the Waterstones book that I went to pick up. So this is the Waterstones exclusive edition of Stolen Air by Holly Black. I'm so happy that I have this. Here she is. She's so pretty. I definitely prefer the black edition to the white edition. And this edition is like embossed, like the text on it, if you can see. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. There is nothing under the dust jacket though, which kind of sucks because I saw um, in the States that some of them have like design underneath. But yes, this is the black edition and then we have the white edition. And they did this for How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories as well. They did like an exclusive black edition and then just the white one. So yes, I have both. And yeah, I really, really do love them. They're just gorgeous. But the black is definitely my favourite. I'm just sad that there's like no art under the dust jacket or anything. Like it's such a missed opportunity. But you know, it is what it is. Um, so yes, we do have both editions now which i'm very very happy about so i think my first book of the readathon is probably going to be this one and i'm hoping that i will enjoy this one i don't know a lot about it so i'm kind of going into it with like head empty no thoughts kind of vibe so we'll see what happens i'm hoping it is really good enemies to lovers i have heard good things on instagram about this book so yeah i'm gonna get myself set up ready to join cat for some sprints and then i'm gonna start this book and hopefully we do make a lot of progress on this night i want to get like at least halfway maybe more we'll see um because i don't know if i can stay awake till really late because i get really really tired but yeah anyways i'm gonna start with this book i'm really really excited and i will catch up with you guys when i next have a reading update <laughs> I'm currently on sprints with the cat and it's just nice and chill so i did start reading this book which is a kingdom of stars and shadows so you girl is a slow reader so we've only done one half hour sprint so far and i'm on page 29 so i've read the first two chapters and i am enjoying it so far you are definitely thrown straight into the story and um, there's not really much world building or anything right away it's kind of just like thrown at you sort of i don't know i don't really know how to explain it and the plot like there's no build up you're thrown straight into it and like the main thing that's going to happen in the story is happening within like the first like five pages so yeah it, it does get like straight to it like it's very very snappy the way it starts but i am enjoying it i just want to know more about the character and i'm not really picturing any like 
of the characters yet like I don't really feel like I've got a sense of exactly what I should be thinking they look like or like act like and stuff and as well like I think we may have met like a potential love interest but I'm not sure but yeah I'm interested to see what's going to happen I have a feeling that like it's going to be a case of like everything is not what it seems like she thinks all these people are her enemy and stuff um and I think like this love interest like person potentially maybe like knows something she doesn't I don't know it's just the vibe I'm getting but yeah we'll see how it goes so it's a fun read <laughs> my camera stopped recording but I think what I was saying well actually I have no idea what I was saying but I'm enjoying it it's fun um, so interested to see where the story is going to go and what's going to happen and I'm not sure if this is going to be a fast read I think it might be but I definitely do want to read as much of this as I can and I think I am going to try and stay up super super late potentially it's almost 7 p.m now so we're only an hour in and I've only read 30 pages but I've been chatting with Kat and stuff as well which is really really nice but yeah I am hoping to stay up late tonight and try and read as much as I can and then tomorrow I think I'm going to stay home and do a lot of reading. Maybe do a YouTube live or something. Um, but yes, anyways, that is all of my reading updates. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in a bit. A few moments later Did I just spend the last 40 minutes scrolling on my phone eating a cookie dancing to Taylor Swift and K-pop in the kitchen? Yes Did I read? No uh, so we have like five minutes of the sprint left. Um, it was a 15 minute sprint. I haven't even looked at my book. So yay. And yeah, that's my update. Um, I don't know if I've updated since, but I am on page 52. I'm enjoying it. I did just make a cup of tea. And yeah, we have like five minutes of the sprints left. So yeah, I'm going to read for the next five minutes of the sprint. And we'll probably just do another sprint anyways. It's currently 20 past eight. It's not great progress and yes i'm putting more lipstick on because my lips are really dry and i don't know where my lip balm is the lipstick is better than nothing but yes um i'm also joined by frankie who's just down on the floor here you can't see him but he's there going to drink my cup of tea and read for five minutes and then hopefully we do another sprint and i can update you guys with a better reading update my plan is to get at least halfway before i go to sleep tonight however i would love to read a lot more than that and stay up late but we'll see i don't want to stay up like too late because i don't want to be tired all day tomorrow but we'll see where the night takes us if i fancy staying up late i may go and buy an energy drink but me and energy drinks not go well and they are not good for you so i try to avoid them and i haven't had one for years but I might try it out. I might get a Red Bull and see if it actually does help me to stay awake and read all night. Okay, hi guys. So it's the next day and it is currently 12.30. So obviously I haven't updated you guys today. <laughs> but I slept in until like 10am. I did go to bed at like 1.30am last night. Um, but I just kept using my alarm this morning. I was just 
so tired so i haven't done like a lot of reading but it's okay because i'm planning to stay up like super late this evening and read a lot hopefully and i still have most of tomorrow as well so i did sleep for like way too much time really but it's fine um so last night i did read a tiny bit more of this i don't know what my last update was so a kingdom of stars and shadows i'm on page 139 so i'm nearly halfway i think or maybe i am halfway i'm not entirely sure um but i'm this much through so i definitely think i can finish this today and start the second book i am enjoying this it's just kind of the world is slightly different and the like thing that the main character is dealing with is unique because the star blessing in here where she basically is like has these markings to do with like starlight or something but besides that it's really the same plot as so many other fancy romance books it's reminded me a little bit of these hollow vows um we have a prince we have a half-blooded prince and it's like a love triangle and she's like now betrothed to the prince and she's like forced into it she's stuck in this palace you know all of the usual kind of stuff that goes with these kinds of storylines so in that respect there's not really anything new i would say this is a mix between a king of battle and blood in a sense and these hollow vows that's what it's given me is like those two kind of mixed together with its own sort of world building but i am intrigued to see where things are gonna go there has been some spice in here as well but you know i'm not like giggling and all excited and all that kind of thing like it's just like kind of fun so yeah that's my update for this book and then i did start the audiobook for spare by prince harry last night so i've been listening to a lot of that so i'm actually on chapter 36 of the audiobook so according to this, I have five hours and 44 minutes left. So I think I'm probably either nearing the halfway point or around the halfway point now. I'm really enjoying this. It's narrated by Prince Harry and I definitely think that's making it very enjoyable and more personal. And yeah, it's just really, really interesting to find out more about what it's like to be a royal and obviously how he's dealt with things, what his life was like growing up. And obviously the whole reason this is called the spare is because his whole role has been to be a spare within the royal family and his life. And he's always been made to feel that way, not only by his own family, but by the press as well. And obviously in here, this is just a great example of how disgusting the british tabloids are like they are absolutely vulgar if you buy or watch the daily mail the sun or any of those other newspapers please stop it's disgusting so yeah and obviously he's talking about his mother and grief and loss and just kind of growing up as well so it's been really really interesting to read all about it and i'm really really enjoying it i definitely think you should pick this book up i am not a fan of the royal family at all i am very anti-royal and i will say that way if you are a royalist that's fine but i i am not by any means but i do like prince harry and Meghan. i am a fan of them to a point i don't agree with everything they do i do not agree with the way they preach about climate change but then fly in private jets i don't agree with any celebrity including my faves like bts they fly in private jets i don't agree with that um and i think you should be holding your faves accountable for things like that but yeah i don't agree with that and I don't think they should have got that humanitarian award that they did. There's people who deserve that far more than them, in my opinion. Um, so I'm not going to sit here and pretend I'm like a huge fan or anything. I just like them too personally. Um, but I'm not a fan of the royal family. And I just wanted to read this because obviously working in the bookshop, this is one of the biggest books ever published and this year. And I just wanted to read it to obviously understand a little bit more. And obviously you have to take everything with a pinch of salt. This is one side of the story. And also, you know, everything we hear from the royal family is their side of the story. But I just thought it'd be really, really interesting to just find out more about the life of a royal and what that's like. And obviously all the things he's had to deal with. So that's my opinions on that. Just in case anyone does comment anything regarding it. Because obviously I've mentioned I'm reading this book. That's my thoughts on it. Do not want to get into any arguments or anything in the comments. So just keep your opinions to yourself. If you don't want to read this book, that's fine. Nobody needs to know and nobody really cares if you don't read it so yeah that's just my opinions on it but i am really enjoying it and i would say if you've been mildly interested in reading it then i would say yes read it it's very very interesting and i'm enjoying the audiobook and the way it's written as well it does kind of jump back and forth a little bit between different time frames so it can be a little bit chaotic on that sense but i am enjoying it i'm just finding it interesting and i think because it's narrated by prince harry that's another reason I'm liking it. If I was physically reading it, I don't think I'd be enjoying it as much though. Um, but yeah, I just randomly decided to read it because obviously, you know, everyone's talking about it. So yeah, I think I'm about halfway through that. So 
I am hoping to finish this today and then I will start 9,000 on audio. So yeah, it's a really, really interesting read so far, you know. So yes, anyways, that's all my reading updates. So I have still been doing a little bit of reading. It's really rainy outside today. So I think I'm just going to stay home, drink lots of tea and read hopefully. So yeah, I need to go make some food or maybe I'll just order food because I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah, I think I will figure out if I'm going to order food or not. Uh, oh my God, not my lipstick on this. Like, that's so bad. Look how much lipstick is stuck on the straw. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna figure out what I want to eat, make some food, and then settle down and read, and hopefully make a good amount of progress in my physical read as well. But when I'm not reading that, I'll just be playing the audiobook I'm currently listening to. Um, but yes, anyways, that's all my updates. Um, I will catch up with you guys in a little while. So yeah, bye. <laughs> So I'm sorry about that, but I just finished my first book of the readathon, which was this one. So I think I'm going to give it three stars. I just feel like the only thing new and different about this was like the star bless kind of world blowing magic kind of thing. But besides that, everything else was just so like so many other books I've read, but it wasn't done as good as them either, if you get what I mean. So this isn't a bad book. It's still really, really good. I still really enjoyed it, but it was just like nothing really too new. The same kind of thing is kind of predictable, but the ending, I can't quite suss out exactly what is like going on. Like I don't fully understand it. Like, I don't know. Is it real? Is it not? Like I can't really tell and I'm not really sure exactly how I feel about it. I am intrigued and I will pick up the second book because I do have it. I don't know. I don't really have a lot of things to say about it because it's just so similar to so many other things I've read. The only interesting thing is the Star Blast magic side, but I still don't fully understand that and how that's going to tie into everything. But yeah, I don't know. It was good. It was a solid three stars, I would say. And it's definitely like King of Battle and Blood mixed with these Holy Bows is the vibes it's given me. So if you like you of those books, you probably would enjoy this, but I'm going to give it three stars. And it's currently 2.30 p.m. So... I think I'm just gonna like have a tiny break and then I'm gonna read a graphic novel just to break things up a little bit and then once I've done that I think I'll make a cup of tea and I think I'll start the second book.
for this one and then i do want to try and listen to more of my audiobook at some point for now i'm just gonna have like a tiny break and then i will start reading again so i'll update you guys in a bit but we are one book down which isn't terrible i know it's been like almost 24 hours since i started this readathon but i slept probably for half of that so i'm happy with finishing this book and almost like halfway through the prince harry book so it's not too bad it's not all bad so yeah i'm gonna chill for a bit and then i'll get back to you guys in a bit okay guys so it is currently only half six i have cat hair stuck to my face and i'm much up to 39 of spare and i have three hours and six minutes left according to audible um i fell asleep <laughs> And I basically haven't read since I last dated you guys. So we're talking several hours. Um, but you know, it's fine. It's all good. We still got tomorrow and tonight. But I am super sleepy. Um, I'm just going to sit you down for a minute. So I think I'm going to go make some food. Um, I'm going to make a salmon and rice bowl, I think. Because I'm so hungry. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then I might pop around to my parents because i think i have some packages there and then i might call in to like a store on the way home and get a red bull to try and keep me awake but i don't know we'll see because i don't really do energy drinks and they're really bad for you but i also do want to stay up reading and i'm curious to see if an energy drink will actually work and keep me awake or not so yeah i might do that i don't know but yeah um this is just an update so i fell asleep and i haven't read anything else yet but i think i'm gonna read these two next um so i'm thinking i'll read a graphic novel and then start the second book all i really want to do to be honest is curl up in bed and watch a film or something um but i'm not gonna do that i'm determined to get some reading done um but yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update um frankie's also here <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna go and eat dinner and i will listen to my audiobook whilst i'm eating dinner so bye <laughs> Okay, hi guys. So it has been a while. I have read nothing, absolutely nothing. It's almost 12 a.m. and I have not read anything since 2 p.m. this afternoon, except for like a tiny bit of the Harry audiobook. I'm a mess. Um, I don't know where this evening's gone, but yeah, it's gone. <laughs> so I am feeling pretty tired, but I have just ordered a drink from McDonald's and some other bits um, to keep me going. So I'm just waiting for that to arrive. My camera's about to die, um, but I am gonna do some reading soon. So I'll update you when I've changed the battery. <laughs> so we've got Diet Coke, and we have a book. And it's currently 12 here. So let's see if we can read. <laughs> I'm just looking at how awful my hair is. Like, my roots, oh my goodness. I'm so excited, I'm getting my hair done this weekend. I'm gonna film a weekend reading vlog so you guys will see me with my new hair and I'm getting something kind of different. Uh, so I'm excited because I hate my hair right now, it's so disgusting. I'm getting it cut and stuff as well. Um, and I'm really excited. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna start this book and hope that it's good, hope that I can read a lot of it. I don't know if I'm gonna stay up all night. I'm gonna see how long I can because my eyes get very tired very quickly when I read. So I'm gonna see how long I can stay awake for, but I'm gonna have this for now. I don't know if this will give me any energy. I don't know how fizzy drinks work. I don't drink them that often. Well, never really. So um, I don't know if this is gonna have any form of caffeine in it, probably not, but I'm gonna have this anyway. So yeah, let's read anyways. <laughs>
Alright guys, so it is now Thursday and it's like 3.30 in the afternoon. So obviously I haven't spoke to you guys all day again. But I did stay up reading last night. So I can't remember exactly when I went to sleep because I fell asleep on the couch down here. And now my back hurts so bad. Um, but I did get to page 98. So I'm nearly halfway through A Kingdom of Blood and Betrayal. Then I fell asleep and... I got woken up at like 6am by Jamie when he was leaving for work um, telling me to go up to bed. So then I went up to bed and I accidentally slept in until like 10 or 11. <laughs> so yeah, then I obviously got ready. I did a little bit of housework and by the time I'd done all that, here we are. So yeah, I haven't really done any reading except for I finished the audiobook for the Prince Harry book spare. And I've decided to give it four stars, but I would say it's a low four stars. And not because of like Prince Harry himself, just because the first third really, really had my interest. And I just feel like somewhere along the way I got a little bit lost and I wasn't as intrigued. But I did enjoy it overall. It was really, really interesting to hear his story and to see an insight into the world of a royal and obviously hearing more about the tabloid press and I just think it's absolutely disgusting that there isn't any laws in place for people in the spotlight, for celebrities or anything. The fact that like just random grown men can be taking photos of you at any moment. I'm like, if that was me and a guy starts taking photos of me in the street, I could call the police and the police would come and do something or people around me would do something and that would be seen as wrong but because they're famous, like it's okay. And like they can actively chase people down, like put them in danger and it's still okay. The police still can't really do anything. Like I just don't get it. Like I do think there needs to be some way of giving these people some form of privacy. Like maybe there should be certain times when they're not allowed to photograph them or something. I don't know. It's a whole debate. But yeah, it really did make me sympathise even more with them. And I 100% believe that Megan was treated unfairly. And for anyone who doesn't think that, like, if you're as well a white person, I don't think it's your place to say. But also, I just think, like, if you put yourself in their shoes, like, families are going to feud. Like, you know, people aren't going to get on or things are going to, you know, there's going to be tiffs. That's what happens in a family. And obviously then when you have the media blown up, it becomes worse. Interesting to hear that side of it and how it affected them. Also very sad at times as well. And it's just so terrible how history has repeated itself with what happened to Diana. Um, and like similarities between, like well, as Harry said, between that and what happened to Meghan. And obviously how that's affected Harry and the other royals and things like that. It's just really, really sad. And yeah, I'm definitely anti-tabloid like the british like tabloids are disgusting and i definitely think the british public has a lot to answer for more so older generations but it was a very very interesting read like i don't even think a lot of the book is to do with megan and harry i'd say it's a very small bit at the end most of it is just about harry and how he's kind of seen himself and dealt with the loss of his mother for his whole life that's mostly what the book was about and obviously being a spare like you know being in case anything ever happened to William, he's there. That's kind of his role within the family and his uh, whole identity is based upon that. So it's really, really interesting to read about all that and I did really enjoy it. But like I said, there were times where I just got a bit lost and a little bit bored. There were just certain parts where I feel like it probably could have been flushed out more. But yeah, it hasn't really changed my opinion on anything. It's definitely like just reconfirmed what I kind of thought already. I am already, you know, I don't like the tabloids. I'm not a fan of the royal family at all. I don't like the institution, I don't like what it stands for, and I also don't like the rank hypocrisy, particularly in Britain, and I would say in the US, because for some reason lots of people in the US are obsessed with the royal family, when it comes to, you know, the double standards and how these two people are absolutely villainized for leaving the royal family, doing what's right for them, even though they were never really gonna be, you know, next in line or anything, so it doesn't really matter, and yet we still allow someone like Prince Andrew, nothing gets said, nothing. And all these other things as well are just, brushed under the rug as you say whereas everything that these two do though is terrible and wrong i just don't like that i don't agree with it i don't like injustice and yeah i know this is a bit of a rant but i do want to get my opinions across on it because you know this book has a lot of controversy surrounding it so yeah that's personally like my feelings on it and my thoughts i would say it's a really good biography i would say that it is written in a way that makes you kind of see things from 
the writer's point of view and i think because i listened to an audio and it is self-narrated by harry i think that made it more personal and made me kind of sympathize more when certain things were being mentioned so i would definitely recommend the audiobook i thought he did a really good job with the self-narration if anyone was saying horrible things about me online spreading lies about me and my loved ones i would want to get my story across you know you you as an individual you put yourself in their position you would want to get your story out and i think that's totally fine so yeah i definitely do think it's worth the read um and even if you're not interested in the royal family like i am i still think it's worth the read the main reason i read it is just because my profession is a bookseller um obviously it's one of the biggest books of the year biggest book in publishing for a long time it's already outsold obama's book in the us and canada and i assume it's probably going to break a lot of records in the uk so i felt like i kind of needed to read it or be clued up upon it to kind of you know have a good opinion and obviously to not listen too much to specific other opinions that i no doubt totally will be forced to hear um working in the bookshop but yeah like i just think it is an interesting read and yeah don't want any arguing in the comments everyone's entitled to thoughts and opinions but i do think it'd be worthwhile reading and i just wanted to say my own thoughts on it because obviously i can't read such a controversial book and then not tell you guys what i think i finished two books um, so i think what i'm going to do because it's so late in the day and i haven't really vlogged or read for most of it and i've literally slept a lot i'm gonna just keep this readathon going all the way until i fall asleep this evening so i am pretty tired because i didn't get the best sleep last night but I want to obviously finish this book today and then I would like to squeeze in at least two graphic novels maybe start the audiobook for Ninth House so I'm gonna do that I am gonna read some more of this but for now I am going to try and read a good amount of this book and we are going to finish this today I am determined to finish this so yeah that's my very long rambly update and all of my thoughts on this very controversial book I'm glad that I read it anyway um so yeah anyways I'm not going to talk about that book again for the rest of this video, but I am going to try and read and make this readathon a success. And yeah, I will probably catch up with you guys a little bit later and let you guys know my reading progress and stuff. Um, but for now, that is everything. Also, how cute is this hoodie? I got it like I think last year. Um, it's from Private Paradise. They make BTS merch and it says that's my ego. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is what the back looks like. Um, I can't remember what it says. But it's just like a really, really pretty design. Like I love the colour scheme and it's so comfy. Um, so yeah, any of my fellow army out there, um, Private Paradise is the place to get your BTS merch. Like they do the nicest merch. Um, but anyways, I will go now. <laughs> finished this book the ending was really really good like it's definitely making me want to pick up the next one but it doesn't come out i think until march this one like i feel like the last third of this was better than the last third of the first book but like there were parts of this that got a bit boring and i'm not gonna lie it's quite repetitive like it's the same kind of like spicy scenes every like chapter and our main character constantly going back and forth like oh no i don't want him i don't hate him and then the next minute like she just gives in and it's like oh i need you like it's so back and forth which is really annoying and yeah like that part i didn't like but i like the fact that in this one we get to find more out about the world and things like that some more things are revealed to us and um, there's like betrayals and things like that so this one was a lot more fun just to learn more about the world and i did like the direction the plot went in it's definitely now also reminds me a little bit of Akhtar, so that's interesting. But yeah, we do have like fated mates as a trope in here as well, which I didn't know. And I definitely do still stand by my point of these books being like King of Battle and Blood-esque. Like they are very, very similar to that. But yeah, I did really enjoy this one. Again, another solid three-star read. And um, so this is my third book. I finished 
of the readathon which i'm very happy about so i think now i am actually going to go and make some dinner so i'm gonna go and cook some dinner and i think i might read a graphic novel while i do that so i think i'm going to read this one i think or maybe i'll read donuts and doom i don't know which one i want to read next i think i'll read donuts and doom whilst i cook dinner and then after that i'll probably read one of these as well um, and we'll see where the night takes us like i said earlier i might go to my parents house so yeah we'll see but i'll let you guys know with another reading update soon i'm gonna go read this cook dinner and then i will catch up with you guys later okay hi guys so i have a reading update so it is really really late now and i am gonna end the vlog in a moment but i did end up reading the donuts and doom graphic novel and i gave it four stars this is a really cute and just like a really fun story it's based about this witch and she accidentally curses this girl in the donut shop when she's having a bad day and yeah they end up kind of thrown together in different scenarios where she's trying to like uncurse her and i guess a little bit of romance and so along the way the witch kind of finds her powers and it was just like a really nice fun graphic novel i really, really enjoyed it and it was just like a lot of fun really so yeah i gave this a four stars and it was just a nice way to kind of and the readathon with so i did finish four books in total obviously i don't have a physical book of the harry one um, but I did finish that as well. I gave that one four stars, but it was a low four stars. And then I gave each of these three stars. This was like a really kind of fun fantasy romance story. I'm definitely going to pick up the third book because I am intrigued to see where the story is going to go. And they are fast reads. I would definitely say this is very reminiscent of Scarlet St. Clair's writing, especially King of Battle and Blood. Not only because we have vampires, we have like the marriage trope. And we also have kind of enemies to lovers it's also the way the like smut and spice is thrown in there the same it's like the same level if you've read king of battle and blood you know what i mean there's like smut on nearly every page and it is kind of like that in here but it did make me feel the same way it did with king of battle and blood it got a little bit too much and a little bit too repetitive so yeah that was like my main qualm with this was that like there was just a bit too much in there for me for my personal liking but i did enjoy this i do feel like the main character like i feel like I didn't get to know her like extremely well. I feel like she could have been flushed out a bit better, which is why this is three stars. But I did enjoy the romance and I really love the world building, but this is definitely like nothing new except for the actual like world building and the star blessed thing. Everything in here is the same as in so many other books, like King of Battle and Blood, These Hollow Vows, even Akhtar at times. And the way this ended kind of reminded me of the very end of Akamath almost. So yeah i definitely think you could draw a lot of comparisons to other books from these two but at the same time they're just a really fun quick fantasy romance reads i think these are on ku but i might be wrong um but yeah if you are looking for anything that is similar to king of battle and blood i would definitely recommend this series and i am looking forward to the next one because i just really want to know what's going to happen and it was still really really enjoyable so yeah these are both three stars and then of course as i just mentioned donuts and doom is four stars so overall i would say this was a success to be honest i don't think i actually read for even half of this readathon as per usual but considering i didn't like make the most of it and still managed to get through four books i'm pretty happy with that so i would still class this as a success even though it wasn't the success i wanted it to be i was planning to be constantly reading and doing loads of things and obviously I didn't do that but it's fine I've still had a fun time and I managed to read some books so it's all good so yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this video and you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these books as well let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books on what your thoughts were and also let me know if you do readathons and if you enjoy them because I'm always interested to see if people do them I never did any readathons until I became like a booktuber so I'd be interested to know if people do them or not but yeah i definitely had a lot of fun and i will have all the people i did the readathon with linked in my description box along with the link to my patreon because like i said at the start of the video we do a monthly readathon every single month i think i'm doing another one sometime this month as well with my patrons which will be a lot of fun um so if you ever want to join in with us then you can head to link 
in my description box for my Patreon. You'll also find exclusive reading vlogs, extra videos there, live shows, a Discord, and a monthly body read as well. So if you're interested in any of that, you can find it there. Leave a snake emoji in the comments if you made it to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And yeah, I hope you're all safe and well. I hope you're reading lots of good books and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.